Here at Robson Forensic, our toxicologists often assist attorneys in understanding the technical aspects of cases involving alcohol or drugs. These cases can involve a variety of scenarios, including overservice of alcohol and driving while impaired. Toxicologists are able to evaluate a blood alcohol content, or BAC, to determine if someone was impaired at the time of a crash or whether someone was served alcohol while visibly intoxicated. The BAC is a measurement of the amount of alcohol per unit volume of blood. All U.S. states recognize a 0.08% BAC as a driving under the influence of alcohol violation for adult drivers who possess a standard driver's license. This begs the question, why do laws prohibit a certain level of alcohol in the blood? In short, the blood bathes the brain, and the highly blood-supplied brain is the target organ for alcohol, leading to impairment. Some of the impairing effects of alcohol include loss of judgment, slurred speech, and impaired balance. Alcohol behaves in a predictable manner in the body, and because of this, we can answer different questions relevant to a case. In order to complete our analysis, toxicologists typically need some key pieces of information, which may include 1. The alcohol concentration in blood or serum. 2. The time the blood or serum was collected. 3. The time of the crash incident. 4. The time of the last drink served and drinking period. Timestamps, receipts, and or a video can be helpful here. 5. The person's age, height, and weight. A hypothetical alcohol-related matter might involve the following narrative and answer the following questions. Mr. Smith and several friends drove together in his vehicle to Velvet Vibe, a hangout frequented by locals where they had a few alcoholic drinks. After spending several hours at Velvet Vibe, the group decided to drive to Liquid Lush, where they had a couple more rounds of alcohol. At 12.30 a.m., Mr. Smith was attempting to drive his friends back home when he crossed the center line of the road, causing a head-on collision with a vehicle driven by Ms. Blackwell. Police and EMS were called to the scene and Mr. Smith and Ms. Blackwell were taken to Memorial Hospital. Mr. Smith's height, weight, and age were recorded in his medical records. While in the emergency room, the time of Mr. Smith's blood draw was recorded and his plasma alcohol concentration was determined. Using the information from the narrative, a Robson forensic toxicologist can evaluate one or more of the following. One, Mr. Smith's BAC at Memorial Hospital. Two, the amount of alcohol that Mr. Smith consumed over the course of the evening. Three, Mr. Smith's BAC at the time he was served his last drink and at the time of the crash incident. Four, if Mr. Smith was more likely than not served alcohol while visibly intoxicated. Five, typical clinical symptoms associated with Mr. Smith's BAC at the time of his last drink served and at the time of the crash incident. Six, if Mr. Smith's alcohol consumption and subsequent impairment was likely a cause of the crash incident. The toxicologists at Robson Forensic are often retained on cases involving dram shop or liquor liability issues, and we can perform these same type of analyses for your case.